So I went to Antique Emporium today and I used some of my eBay sales money to get this hen on a nest. So I had thoughts of getting the white one because that one was in better shape until I looked at that one closer. It was actually a little different than this one. Even though it was not painted or anything, it just was white with the clear coat over it, if you can imagine. That one had eggs up here with it. But same price as this guy. That one, they did not have a maker's mark on it either. So I'm like, I will get this hen on this before someone else goes and buys it. So I probably paid what it was worth, but I don't know what the maker is, but I'm thinking it might be Staffordshire. I'm not sure. I will post pictures of this in the Ashley Rose Facebook group just to see what they think of this hen on nest. As, yes, I am gradually, if I think there's one that was not in my Grandma Roberts' original hen on nest collection that I now own, um, see, there's cracks here and repairs on here, but there's none on the outside, which, uh, concerned me when I was looking this over, but I really wanted the one with the chicks on the front. There's, otherwise there's no chips in that, sisters. And that is damaged, though. Especially if you watch Dr. Lori... On YouTube, she would concur with this. So, I got them to, I guess without me saying anything, <laughs> to not charge me the sales tax on this hen. So, the other one, yes, it's still there, but um, there is some chips off the paint right there in the front. Cracks in the glaze, yeah, on this one. But the other one, there was absolutely none. No cracks, no repair marks, nothing. It looked like it was in immaculate condition, really, to tell you the truth, the other one. But it was different. So this one has chicks on it, which I thought was quite... Quite nice, because I remember from watching Ashley Rose's YouTube channel one year, back when she was really into um, collecting these hens on nests, and she had to have a different color or a different one if it was, a, how you say, under what it's valued at. She would buy it and say, score... But now, from what I've seen, she's been, you know, selling off her collection, you know. Sometimes it does happen where you get tired of collecting something. It's like, with me, I don't really collect hens on nests. It's just, I feel, I, you know, since this was my Grandma Roberts' collection, she's no longer, well, how do you say, what's us? Oh, yeah, there's some shifts, yeah, right there. <laughs> but she's no longer with us and she's been gone for a lot of years now I just feel I could add something to her collection even though I own her collection one that I know she would have loved if she was still alive so to speak um <laughs> so yeah Otherwise, yeah, I was just, like, walking around in there, and I told the one worker there that, that knows me, and I said, which, you know, and this is a good lesson to tell everyone. I told them when they have everything half off, I like to see them get that jukebox from the third level all the way down to the first level. And he said, yeah, they'd have to take it down straight down the elevator 
<laughs> and I said, yeah, it probably weighs hundreds of pounds. He said, oh, yeah, you, you've you been looking at it, haven't you? And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not interested in buying it because it wouldn't be worth me buying it just because it'd be, first off, not able to fit in the back of my traverse. And secondly, I would really hurt my back trying to get it in the house, let alone out of my car or in, and even into my car, and then I'd have to see a physician, and I'd be out of work for a long time. Not worth me spending um, money like that on something and really throwing my back out really bad. <laughs> Not worth it. <laughs> it's cool to see, but that's all I'm going to say. Cool to see. <laughs> but, yeah. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. And don't forget to like, comment, and share the channel. So it would help get my channel out there to people that don't know about my channel yet. And right now I got more people that are not subscribed watching, so why not just subscribe and continue watching? And don't forget, if you are subscribed, to hit that little bell for notifications of new videos that I put out each and every day. And otherwise, um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.